if the goal of our instruction is love, to love God, to love man, to love our neighbor and our brethren and even our enemy, then there must be a, a proclamation of Christ as the uh, reason and the strength to be able to change and to become like Him in the way we act. And if, if so many, as I've said, uh, I've heard uh, teach expository preaching over the years or, or preach expositorily, and yet little of Christ was in the message. And when you do that, um, I believe that you're hiding Christ from the people. If Christ is in all the scriptures and we're to preach Christ from all the scriptures, which I believe he taught, then uh, to fail to do that is hiding him from the people's need for communion with Christ, for assurance of salvation in Christ, for daily uh, strength and fellowship with Christ in order to live for his glory, to love him, to keep his commandments, to build his church and so forth. In Luke chapter 24, as after the resurrection, Jesus was walking with these disciples on the Emmaus Road. And uh, it says in verse 27 to these disciples that were slow to believe he was the Christ. And beginning with Moses and with all the prophets, he explained to them the things concerning himself in all the scriptures. Now at that point, that was the Old Testament. And it doesn't say in the scriptures, the things concerning himself in the scriptures, which would uh, perhaps be a limited place like Isaiah 53, which is clearly a, a prophetic description of his crucifixion and his resurrection and exaltation. Uh, but he actually preached to them uh, the things concerning himself in all the scriptures. And, and so we need to pay close attention to the grammar there and to the emphasis that he was giving. And then uh, later on, as the disciples gathered around him uh, in the upper room, in verse 44 of Luke 24, he said, these are my words, which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things which are written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, thus it is written. Now this is the Old Testament. It is written that the Christ should suffer and rise again from the dead the third day, and that repentance for forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. And he's saying by that statement that all those things are in the Old Testament. And he taught these men and opened their minds to understand the Old Testament, that it was full of him, that it was all about him.